Hey, what's up guys, Spencer Stanley here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my new standing desk. It's the Vivo Dual Monitor Standing Desk from Amazon. It's about 499 CAD. Do I know what that is in the US? Absolutely not. It's a great little desk. I had, I had a big problem trying to find a standing desk. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about why I chose this one, how it's been so far, if you should add this to your work from home setup. I know a lot of people right now are looking for better ways to improve their work area. So I thought this video might be, be good because I did a video on this chair and it did pretty We well. got the top down, cruising at 65. The engine's rolling, it's good to be alive. Out on the highway, oh yeah, we're free now. We watch the sun rise up, we watch the sun go down. So a little background, uh, I've been wanting to get a standing desk, an electronic standing desk for quite a while. I, I couldn't justify spending the money on that because I had a really nice solid wood desk that I really liked. Spending that money on an electric standing desk just wasn't in my budget when I started my business. And as I progressed, as I spent more time at the desk, I really wanted to improve it and make it what I really wanted from the get-go. So I looked around at a couple different companies, a lot of them really expensive, some of them affordable. I wanted a high quality desk that wasn't like over a thousand dollars. There's a lot of really good brands like Ergon Office and stuff that make amazing products from what I've seen. But they're a little out of my budget for what I want to spend on a desk. Like even this was a little expensive at the end of the day and we'll get down to the numbers and how I built it up. I, I saw Autonomous because they had really affordable desks. So I ordered one. I ordered one for like $650, something like that. I got a really big one, seemed like a great deal. And then the day, a month after I ordered it, the day it was gonna ship, they said it was gonna be another two months due to supply chain issues. And you know, it, it, it's a pandemic, I totally understand that. What I don't understand is why they told me that the day it was supposed to be delivered. Uh, this was really upsetting because I'd waited so long. I started renovating this room to put the desk in and then this room was just empty because I had no desk to put it in and I was waiting for about a month to fill this room. So that led me down another rabbit hole of just trying to find one. Uh, after that, I didn't really care about the money. I just wanted a standing desk because I had this empty room. So the budget was less of a priority and when the budget's a less of a priority, you think, okay, well, I'll be able to find one. I couldn't. Ikea had some, I didn't love them. Structube had some, they were sold out of just the legs. It was really hard for me to find one. There was a couple different Canadian companies. They all had kind of long wait times. So I went with this Amazon purchase. And when I did this Amazon purchase, I had more problems. So I waited two weeks after purchasing this desk. It never came. They told me to cancel the order and purchase another one. Never came again. I was on the phone for Amazon for a long time. They refunded me for both desks and they gave me a bunch of credits, which was really nice, but it was still frustrating because they, they wouldn't even you know, tell me where the desk was. So I was just like, I just wanted to take a second and say, if you're enjoying this content, it would be awesome if you subscribe to the channel and like the video, it helps a lot with everything that I do. I love also getting comments of people uh, saying positive things about the videos, et cetera. It really makes my day when people comment and subscribe and stuff like that. It's the reason that I do this and I love helping people if it's even the smallest way possible. So I really appreciate that. and. Back to the video. So after having all these issues, ordering two of these desks, them not showing up, I really didn't know what to do. I couldn't find one anywhere. Everywhere was like sold out of standing desks because of this work from home thing. So everybody, you know, wanted a standing desk and I was kind of at the brunt of that. So if the desks never were sent and Amazon refunded me, how do I have a desk? Well, they just showed up at my door one day. After being refunded, after everything, two of these desks showed up and I'm really happy about that. Kind of sucks for Amazon. I'd be a little careful ordering them because I had such an issue getting them. At the end of the day, I got a free Amazon desk, so am I complaining? Not that much. The desk itself is actually really good. The Vivo electric standing desk is a great desk, and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit and some of the things that I found with it. So the Vivo white dual motor electric standing desk has a height range of 24.4 inches to 50. 0.4 inches, this is crazy. It goes so high and it goes so low that it's just ridiculous and I would never need this. The reason that I got the dual motor, there's actually a single motor one as well, is because it has a bigger weight capacity and I'm pretty sure the width is a little bit bigger with this one as well. So I wanted a really long desk table thing set up. I had a huge L-shaped desk before and I wanted a really long one with this one again. So I thought just you know pay the extra money for the better product because I want it to last quite a while and I wanted a good desk. It has a weight capacity of 275 
pounds, which is quite heavy. That's like, I could sit on this with all my stuff on there and I'd be fine, which is crazy. And it obviously has dual electric motors with a lift speed of 1.5 inches per second, if you wanted to know. It's got a bunch of cool features like a timer, programmable settings so that you could adjust different settings specifically to the desk. And it also has a power saving mode. So one of the reasons I didn't want the Ikea desk is because I wanted programmable settings on the desk so I could just hit one or two or three or whatever it is so that the desk will raise and lower for two different heights, sitting and standing. It also has a power saving mode so the monitor turns off after a little bit to save power. I don't know how much power this is really saving, but it's there. And it has a timer to remind you to stand and sit. I don't use this, but it's cool that it's included in the unit. I wanted to make the top of the desk really unique to myself. And that's one of the reasons that I kind of wanted to build it myself and just buy separate legs to do it. When I bought the autonomous desk, it actually had a tabletop because they had a really nice wall on that tabletop. But I decided with this one, I would just buy my own tabletop. I was either gonna get like a solid piece of wood, which seemed expensive, and then I had to do a bunch of work. Instead, I went to Ikea and I got a butcher block countertop. Now this was kind of expensive because they were super sold out of like every single countertop because COVID, everybody is redoing their kitchens, redoing, they're, they're doing everything, right? And that's the same reason I'm doing this here. But I'm really happy with it. The quality of it is great. I drilled the desk right into it and it worked perfect and then I mounted all of my cable accessories right under the desk to have a really nice cable management system with the desk. So that was one of the big things that I really wanted with the desk is a, a clean cable management system, which this desk actually provided. It comes with a built-in cable management system that weirdly runs along the middle of the desk, which I don't love. I wish it was at the back, but I'm super happy that it's included because I don't have to drill any other type of cable runways or anything in there. So what I did was I put a surge protector, drilled that into under the desk, and then I ran all of the power cables from the cable management tray into the surge protector. And then I used Ikea plastic strap things from their cable management system to run the surge protector cord down the leg into the wall. So there's like one cable and then I have a heater for my feet under the desk. So there's, there's two cables, but it looks really clean. And I like the way that it works. I also decided to run a LED light strip just from Amazon, a cheap one that I had on my old desk. I unpeeled it and peeled it back on here. It was like $20 or something like that. And it gives a really cool kind of RGB effect on the back of it. If that's something that you're looking for. And Another cool thing, and I'm gonna show this when I do like an office tour, is I have, oh, you can't, it's not really, oh, it's changing the color a little bit. I have this LED light up here too. So, so I'm starting to kind of incorporate little smart features like that into it. But anyways, the LED strip runs behind the desk and it looks great. You could kind of see it. Like I'm so happy with how it looks when I'm either working at night, playing video games, etc. It gives the room a really cool vibe. Even in the morning, if I put it on like an orange setting, it gives me that kind of sunset. And then I put these on an orange setting or like a blue setting and it's just a really Really cool like effect in the room and then when I want to change everything to white when I'm filming I could do that as well I know these flicker a little bit in video but other than that it's a great add-on so my biggest issue when buying this desk and one of the reasons I'm doing a review on it is because I couldn't find much else other than one video on YouTube talking about the desk itself and it's like a weird Chinese Amazon product that doesn't have many reviews. Other than the only, the knock that I would give the desk is that the bolts that came with it, like the nuts and screws and everything were a little cheap. They weren't the best. I stripped one of them and broke them when installing it. And then for some reason, when I'm leaning like on the control unit, writing things like over top the control unit, it's glitched out twice where it just starts going up and down. Obviously it's something that I did and I don't know what's causing that. I don't know if it's weight on the desk or something, but it's interesting and it is something that I'm going to monitor and then maybe I'll pin a comment down below if I. I have this problem or if it gets worse in the future. I wouldn't not recommend this desk because of that issue because I think it's something that I'm pressing or I don't know what's going on. I just unplug it and replug it in. It's only happened twice and it was when I was doing the exact same thing but I can't figure out what I was doing to make it do that. I tried pressing all the buttons and stuff. I can't figure it out. Now, one of the coolest features of this desk that's really interesting to me is it actually has sensors in it. I don't know if it's sensors in the motor or actual sensors somewhere on the desk. I think it has to be in the motor to, to kind of like a force touch sensor. So if you're raising or lowering it and it feels something, like if it stops or lowers onto something, it'll actually stop and go back to the height that it was previously. This is an awesome safety feature because you know, if there's a cat, a dog, I, I don't know. I, I don't know where this, it's just a good feature. Like I, I don't know exactly when this would come into play, 
but you never know and it's a good feature to have just in case. Uh, little safety feature right there. So if you like this video and you wanna hear more about my office setup, cause I didn't go into that in too much depth. I just wanted to make a quick review on the desk itself. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I've spent a ton of time in here painting, redoing stuff, putting stuff on the walls, setting stuff up. It's not the way that I perfectly want it right now, but the home studio is coming along quite nicely. I have all my lights, all my stuff in here. So I'm really excited about that. Like I said, if you're interested, leave a comment down below. But I really appreciate you watching this video. Uh, it means the world to me, especially if you've made it this far in the video, it means that you like the content and that's the reason that I do this. And I love getting comments of people saying like, awesome video, blah, blah, blah. So uh, like the video if, if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna see more of this content, but we'll see you in the next video. Peace.